the spectacular act of nature that brought world travel to a virtual standstill. Iceland's volcanic eruption emptied the skies and stranded millions. Liz Hayes is there. Aya Fiatla Jokult, Iceland's recalcitrant volcano, refuses to behave. And from close range, it's hard to argue with her. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. That is Mother Nature at her angriest. Big plumes of smoke and ash and huge molten rock and glass literally being shot into the sky. And you can hear it, these massive explosions that come with a shockwave. It's like gunshots going off. You see the shockwave? This yeah. is a shockwave that goes... Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah. Yeah. Like, a, yeah. like a shadow going up? Yeah. That's nasty. For more than a week, the unpronounceable has done the unthinkable. The rocks that you're seeing are splatting up there like a, a truck. The size yeah, of a truck? Yeah, the size of a truck. Amazing how it's, it's been pelted in the air. It's cast a dark shadow of thick ash across the world, stopping travellers from just about every nation in their tracks. A plume so vast it can be seen from space, and so dense it turned day into night. I woke up on Saturday morning and it was total, total blackness, you know, outside. That must have been frightening. It was quite, quite spooky, yes. Ayo Fiatla Jokul sits in farmer Ori Gudnansen's back paddock and he always knew this day would come. And was it as you thought it would be? It was uh, a lot worse. I mean, uh, basically uh, every field and every, every grass is under, under ash. It just didn't stop. No, it didn't. And it still hasn't. No. Scientists call this the volcanic winter, when the ash literally blocks out the sun. What is in that volcanic ash that is, is so lethal? It's like thousands of tiny needles piercing your lungs, causing bleeding in the lungs, and you end up uh, choking to death. Biologist and geologist Michael Rampino says this volcano is not to be underestimated. The last time this volcano erupted was in 1821, and it went on for more than a year. Fits and starts, uh, material coming out of the volcano, uh, pulses of volcanic activity that lasted for more than a year. And as we speak, it is still fierce. How much longer can it go on? Well, it's hard to say exactly how long it's going, it's going to be, but if we base it on the past, this eruption could go on for months, could go on for years. We don't know for sure. Ash buried everything in its path, and what started as dust soon turned into wet cement. Just to give you an idea of how thick this ash is, even after it's turned to mud. And look at that. Extraordinary. And people have been living under that. It's not the first time this tiny nation has drawn unwelcome attention. Last year, it was outed for its not insubstantial role in the global financial meltdown. Now, one of its 130 volcanoes has brought the world's airline industry to its knees. But Iceland's run of bad luck may not be over. The fear is that there is another volcano just up the road, Katla. And if it is triggered into an eruption, that would be catastrophic. Katla lies just 25 kilometres east of Ayofiatla Jokut, and it's apparently even meaner and keener than its little sister. In the past, 
uh, Catla has erupted when this volcano has erupted at the same time. They share a common plumbing system. The magma that comes up can go either way. What sort of notice do we get that there is going to be an eruption? Well, you get very, very little notice of a volcanic eruption. There was some seismicity back in December. Now there's some seismicity present under Catla. So it's already talking to us. It's already uh, uh, giving off a message that something may be going on beneath the volcano. If the volcanic eruption continues and Catla goes off and we have more volcanic ash going into the atmosphere, it could shut down air travel for a considerable period of time, for months or, or even a year. We just don't know yet how big, how long this eruption is going to be. None of this should come as a surprise. Iceland owes its very existence to volcanoes. It straddles two hugely visible tectonic plates and is one of the few places you can come and see where the Earth literally moves. A divide that is slowly pushing America away from Europe and Africa and splitting Iceland down the centre. For geologists, this is paradise when it comes to volcanoes, uh, isn't it? It's a wonderland uh, for, for geologists here. This is the crack that runs down the center of Iceland. And then two tectonic plates are here, the North American plate on one side and the Eurasian plate on the other side. And they're splitting apart at about two centimeters per year. The impact of volcanoes goes way beyond inconvenience. In 1783, Iceland's lucky volcano erupted for eight months, killed a quarter of the nation's population and brought on world climate change. But it's a fate locals are prepared for if Cutler should blow. Of course, it's, it's, it's a lot bigger, a lot bigger. Of course it is, but uh, you can't live in fear and, and, and you know, uh, cross your fingers all the time. You wouldn't live anywhere else? No. <laughs> I can't it, say I would. No matter, even though you've got a spewing volcano in your backyard. I mean, you can't just uh, you pack your bags and walk away. You can't just do that. This is home. This is home, yeah. Ori and his countrymen are clearly made of sterner stuff than most, because without doubt, another volcanic catastrophe would be more than the rest of the world could cope with. What can we do? Um. Good question. <laughs> Not much. We can try to forecast it and try and, and guess at what size it might be, but in the end, there are really uh, too many unknowns in, in the equation. We should be prepared for the fact that Iceland is going to give us some nasty surprises. Mother Nature can really turn. The, the forces of nature are not to be trifled with. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thank you for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes, which are on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.